Canadian studios in Orlando, Florida. Welcome to Guts, the action sports show that's going to make you sweat. And now today's fearless players wearing the bouncing blue from St. Cecilia School, Rachel Poodle Kazalka. In the reverberating red from Stanwood Elementary School, Eddie Scooter. Da -da 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 Come on. Uh. And in the pulsing purple from Wilson Middle School, Christina, the Blade Runner. Ba -ba 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 Hello, everyone. I am Mike O'Malley. Welcome to Nickelodeon Guts. The action sports show where kids live out their greatest sports fantasies. Our players today, once again, battling their way through four outrageous events. And after that, they'll get a chance at tackling our radical rock, the aggro crag, where almost anything can happen. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And he or she gets to take home a glowing piece of our radical rock. Now remember, all of our events are specifically designed with our players' safety in mind. They will be wearing safety equipment, and we'll have a professional stunt coordinator and stunt spotters with them at all times. So please, don't try this at home. Now on to our first event, which takes archery to new heights. How else could you hit a target 11 feet high? Only with some help from an elastic cord. Let's go to our referee, more Quirk, for the rules. Mo! Mike, at the sound of my whistle, all three players will grab a crossbow and jump off the aerial bridge. The object of the game is to score as many bullseyes as possible in 60 seconds. Now, our guys are taking their places, Mike. All right, Mo. Hey, Mo, is it all right if I start calling you Quirky? Why not Mikey Poos? <laughs> okay. Mikey Poos and Quirky. No, I don't think that's going to work. All right, so our players are up on the aerial bridge. Looks like they're ready. On your mark. Get set. And there they are off. Oh, now remember, you must hit the ground before getting back up there. And Eddie had some trouble with that. And look at Christina, our purple player in the lead right now. And both our blue player, Poodle and Scooter, having some trouble. Poodle and Scooter getting really hung up right there as Christina Bermudez making a little Bermuda triangle up there on that. Uh, she needs one more, or a tri arrow, I should say. One more to get the, the, the three, and it looks like she got it. She's got three arrows in 27. We are having some serious trouble, and Christina is running away with this game. Four arrows, 20 seconds left. Oh, there, again, oh, and look, Scooter is shooting, shooting down the precision. Very important on this point, 10 seconds left. It is going to be really, really tough for them to get back now. Five, four, three. Two, and there, Scooter got one on that point. Oh, folks. We have the Blade Runner Bermudas. Take a look at her right there, and look at Rachel. She had a good time just hanging there in the air. Let's go get the results. Mo. In first place is Christina in purple with six bullseyes. In second place, Eddie in red with one bullseye. In third place, Rachel in blue with no bullseyes. Okay, let's take a look at the replay as the Blade Runner. Going on a little run there, perfect form as she hit that arrow right in the bullseye. Six for Christina, our purple passionate player here today. What was the view like up there? It was wild. It was great. It's like a bird. <laughs> All right, a bird's eye view, and it looks like she's in first after this one. Let's talk to Mo on the leaderboard. Mo. In first place right now with 300 points, Christina in purple. Second place in our events, 200 points goes to Eddie in red. Third place, Rachel in blue with 100 points. Well, chirp, chirp, said the little bird, but the guts player said it's time to spill your guts, and now it's time for Rachel to spill her guts, so Rachel, spill your guts. Rachel Poodle Kazalka is 11 years old. Rachel's a tennis ace, which is what she does when she's not dancing. Poodle admits that when she grooves on the dance floor, it's in a pair of big wooden Dutch shoes. And that's the Poodle. Well, I hope our Dutch wooden shoe lady has had her tulip bulbs for breakfast because our next event takes place here in our gym, and it's called Basic Training, and our obstacles change every day, so let's take a look at what we got going today. We got the cargo net, then the rings, then down the slide for life. They're going to hit that pattern into the tire crawl. Hey, Pika Guts Boo, coming out of there, and they're going to come up the wall, hello, and then on to the pool, down the tube slide, saying hello to Dave Kinney. Hi, Dave. He may have some catfish in that pool, so watch it. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. 
Mike, our players will be timed from starting line to splashdown. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. So, on your mark, get set. All right, and Rachel is off. The poodle. Dogging her way up there. Oh, having some trouble with the cargo net. Often our most difficult obstacle, and she is in the rings and things. Oh, oh, having trouble, but she's got the arm strength to keep her up there. Very difficult, probably our most difficult obstacle here on Guts, folks. She's trying to get her foot through that, and then she's got it right here. This takes ultimate precision, and oh, she slips and falls onto the pad, but she's okay. She's back up the cargo net. And keep going, she's gonna have to try it again. And she's back up the cargo net. She's having some trouble in that nylon loop and she's making it up there right now. Today's event in our basic training with the rings, it's known to take much longer than our other events when they're just jumping from the free fall bag. You see her now taking her time. Nice and easy does it. It's often our first player, our blue player, who has to set the pace in this game. She the first one to tackle this. Rings, okay, and now she's on to the slide for life. Here's the slide. Nice form on that one. And then she's gonna dance her way through the tire crawl. Trying to, she's gonna try to burn some rubber as she gets her way through that. And like a caterpillar, like an inchworm, inching her way through. She is now up the wall climb, coming in. All right, and down the slide. She is definitely working her way on that one, folks, as she makes it into the pool. All right, so Rachel, the poodle, getting her fur wet. Let's talk to Mo. Rachel in blue finishes in one minute, 41.1 seconds. One minute, 41 seconds. Looks like Eddie is ready. On your mark, get set. All right, this is steady, Eddie. Oh, he's taking that cargo net two loops at a time. Now Scooter is flying, folks. He's like a monkey on this thing. Yeah, like Tarzan, swinging through the jungle. Oh, folks, he's, he's making great time. He chose not to use his legs at all on that one. And just use his arms as he makes it through the tire crawl. Yeah, I think those tires want a monster truck at one point. Yeah, all right, and look at this time, folks. This is unbelievable. It looks like about 33 seconds. We will have to go to the official time. Let's get it from Mo. Eddie in red finishes in 32.5 seconds. Masterful work. Christina's ready. On your mark, get set. And Christina is off, up the cargo net. Also not having trouble at all. Very firm footing on that one. The Blade Runner is gonna have to make up some good time and she takes it. Oh, she catches herself. Magnificent work on that one, folks. She's pulling her leg through there. She is awesome work on that one. Oh yeah, she is okay as she continues her climb through the rings. She's got her other arm up here. Our players here on Guts go through tremendous, vigorous tryouts before they get a spot on this show. And the strength that you are seeing right now from the Blade Runner, indicative of what it takes to make it through our basic training obstacle course. As you see the Blade Runner, now she's flying on that blade to slide for life. And she's into the tire crawl. It looks like she is already gonna make it through second place point. She's making good time, 53 seconds at this point as Christina is pulling her way through the tires. Now she is rolling out of that. A nice stunt roll as she climbs up the wall climb. Very tired after that tremendous effort. She's at now a minute six. It looks like she's gonna come into second place points with this one. After catching herself, making up tremendous time so she did not have to start again. There you look at Christina as she's stepping out of the pool. Looks like Mo's ready, Mo. Christina in purple finishes in one minute and nine seconds, point four. That puts Eddie in red in first place. Christina in purple in second place. Rachel in blue in third place. All right. So let's take a look at the replay right here. Take a look at Eddie. This was where the game was won. Not afraid to leap right into those rings and arm after arm pull himself along. Tremendous strength on Eddie on that one. Beautiful work as he made it through our basic training obstacle course. We have the man right here. The this, this Superman, I should call him. Talk to me about your strategy on those rings. Well, 
I've been playing on the playground at my old school, and we just did a lot of ac rings and stuff when we used to play for recess. All right, and it came in handy. His strength coming in handy on this last event. Let's go to Mo and check out the leaderboard. Mo. We have a time first place right now, Mike. Eh, with 500 points, Christina and Purple and Eddie in red. In third place, Rachel in blue with 200 points. So Eddie making a big comeback. You see a big smile on his face. And Eddie's gonna come back and spill his guts right after that. We're coming up with more guts. <laughs>